Hey everyone, welcome to our update. We are gone to Texas and we want to recap for you the last 24 hours because they have been amazing and God has surely blessed us and uh, we're excited to tell you about this. If you are a member of the Decatur Church of Christ, Priceville Church of Christ, Flint, um, Hartsville Church of Christ, um, we want to first of all thank you, but you Noah. will uh, Noah Church of Christ as well. All of you have been involved in this uh, effort and you will want to share this uh, for your members and share it to your Facebook pages so you can keep everyone updated on what's going on. I'm going to turn it over to uh, Cody and let him share with you a little bit about the last 24 hours and we'll keep going back and forth. Love you guys and thank you for watching with us. Okay, so we wanted to share with you a few things of how our past day has gone simply so we can show you just how many ways God has responded how God has used people as vessels, how he's interacted with, with all of the different people that are tied in. So things start out on Friday. We're getting phone calls, and we've got a lot of messages coming in on our Facebook page, on the Project Unify, as well as the Decatur Facebook page. Uh, then I started getting messages that were to my personal Facebook page asking, hey, there's a big need in Texas. Are you guys going to go and help out with that? My first response was, the area of Texas that is affected is kind of outside of the range that we go. And then I had a whole lot more people asking and those people were saying, okay, I've got a daughter in Texas that's running out of water. Her neighbors are already out of water. Uh, my son, my, my nieces and nephews, my mom and dad. And so we took a minute and said, all right, let's evaluate. Yes, it's further than we would typically go. There's people right here in our hometown that are that are related to others that are there. So I called our elders uh, to discuss with them because anybody that, that has enough wisdom to seek wisdom needs to be under a good eldership. And blessed for us, we are. So I called our elders and I said, all right, guys, let's talk. What are we, what are we thinking? What are we doing? Well, they agreed we would meet 8 o'clock Saturday morning before our men's day. So we sat down to meet. We did not have water, we did not have a trailer, we did not have a plan. Within 30 minutes we had a plan, but we still did not have water and we did not have a trailer. So we put out the call and we said, all right, we're gonna let, we're gonna see what happens. We're gonna let people know this is what's needed in order for us to help those who are in Texas. Let's see what happens. We put the call out, within 30 minutes we had a trailer. Uh, within a few more hours we had four or five pallet of water at Costco and at Sam's Club. We had money coming in where people were taking care of needs that we had monetarily to be able to make sure this trip was possible. Uh, so we, we got a call from, from some people. We received phone calls from people who were not members of any church. We received phone calls from people who were members of congregations involved with Project Unify. We received calls from people in our, uh, in our own families of wanting to help, which was absolutely incredible to see how diverse the group that was supporting this was so we get all that stuff we, we get the trailer we go to Huntsville we ended up in Huntsville with six pallets of water that were paid for before we got there that's a lot of weight we've never hauled anything quite that heavy uh, so we put those on the trailer um, Richard Dobbs that owns Dobbs equipment he was able to make that happen for us we get back into Decatur with six pallets of water and a tire blows in front of Little Caesars on 6th Avenue. I don't know if we had way too much weight on the trailer. The trailer was rated to handle it, but it may have just been, you know, maybe too much weight on it. Maybe we ran over something we couldn't see, but we didn't have a spare tire. So we got back to Dobbs Equipment, locked the trailer up, put the call out again. All right, we've got water, but we don't have a trailer now. Immediately, Will Colley, he's one of our Project Unified guys out of Southern Middle Tennessee, he jumps on and says, I'll have you a trailer there first thing in the morning. Uh, a little while later, uh, the Fields family from Fields Farms, they, they jumped in and said, all right, we're going to see what we can do. Turns out they spoke with someone from Franklin Equipment on 6th Avenue in Decatur. They got us hold of a trailer that was even bigger than the first one we had and could take the weight. Uh, so they called us. They got hold of the Fields. They called me back. They said, hey, we've got a trailer we'll pick up in the morning. Let the one that's in Tennessee stay in Tennessee. Uh, we've got one here in Decatur. So first thing this morning, the fields went and picked up the trailer. We went back over to Dobbs Equipment. Mr. Dobbs, uh, he, he is absolutely just at anything you need, he's there to help you. 
And so he grabs his forklift and we start moving stuff over to the new trailer. We hook the truck up, we get everything ready to go. Uh, our trailer brake system was not working on the truck, so we had to replace that. Jeff Etheridge jumps in, runs to the store, grabs it, he's taking care of stuff, bringing it back. We take apart the dash, rehook up our brake system. We got trailer brakes working again. We get back to the building to load up the water that's at the building because the community, the people involved, the people that have seen these videos started bringing cases of water just like we asked, just like we needed. We ended up with so much water we ran out of room. We didn't have anywhere else on the truck and trailer to be able to put it and we were getting overweight. So we had to stop and we've still got water left at the building uh, to be able to take for, for whatever our next event is. But we put all that stuff on the truck, we put out a call and we said, members, if you've got the ability this afternoon, please come up here and help us load. There was so many people that showed up. We just had a constant assembly line, people that were carrying water to the truck, setting everything up. Some of our elders and some of our members were putting together panels on the side of the truck to make sure the water couldn't shift off the bed. Uh, just, just so many things that when we, we faced problems of trailer breaks, we faced problems of a trailer tearing up, we faced problems of not having a trailer, we faced problems of not having water, we faced problems of not having the monetary money to afford the trip and the backup funds in case we had to make a repair. Every single problem we had in less than 24 hours, God worked through his people and found answers to every issue there was so that we can go help people in Texas, so that we can set up Bible studies with people in Texas, so that not only can we deliver the physical water, but we can offer the spiritual water and be the hands and feet of Jesus in our community as well as in Texas. Uh, what I want to encourage you with, if you're somebody that's got family members down here, when we get home, let's have a Bible study. Get with us. Let's get together. We're going to recap more. We're going to tell you more about what all goes on on this trip. Our whole plan right now is we're going to go door to door in the communities that we've met people in the communities that we have addresses of family members for. We're going to give every family in a neighborhood that we can enough water to get through a week. And we're also going to give them a personal Bible study that will then be sent back to us so we can stay in communication with them. Uh, our, our goal is one that was very last minute put together. But it is so incredible to see the right people with the right talent and the right mindset to say, look, if God be for us, who can be against us? And then when things started in motion, every issue we faced took care of itself. It is, it's been such a blessing and encouragement that in less than 24 hours, we're wills up headed for Texas. I, I can't begin to express enough of how incredible it is to see God work through so many people for such an incredible effort. It's it's just incredible to be part of it. And not just what you can see if you look in the window right here behind us. You can see the reflection of the red lights of the truck with the water. The entire truck bed is filled with water. We literally have no more room for any more water as Cody pointed out. But in addition to that, uh, several people wrote monetary checks, gave us money, handed us this and that. Um, and as you uh, count that up, we easily had several people, including, um, or several people give checks or cash that add up to at least close to $1,000 in 24 hours. That all happened. Um, thank That's you to incredible. everyone. Thank you for that. That makes sure that this trip is possible. It ensures that if we need additional supplies or anything of that nature, it, it makes it possible for us to, as Cody said, bring about um, the blessings that we've been blessed with, but also try to bless them with the ultimate blessing of Jesus Christ. We've got several people uh, chiming in here. There's at least eight uh, with us live, probably more, as I see people coming in. Becky says, God is good, or God is so great. Y'all be safe. Thank you for traveling to help. Thank you, Becky. Uh, we're keeping you in prayer. Uh, we love you and your family. Uh, please let us know what we can do for you. Um, and I want to I want to mention this real quick before we read another comment. Um, I know a lot of people have spoken to us because me and Robert are the two that are going on the trip, and just simply said thank you for for what you're doing. Thank you for this ministry. Uh, I want to ask you to do us a favor. If there's eight people on here, I want at least you eight. And anybody else that watches this video, you know, Nine. less than 24 hours, this all happened. That means that our wives, our kids, and our families in less than 24 hours 
agreed to allow us to go because we want to we communicate with our families and that means they've got to hold down the home front so please 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 let our families know how much you appreciate the fact that, that they're tied to this as well let our wives know let our kids know thank you for for you know holding down what's at home for allowing us to be able to do what we're doing and be entrusted with those that are home and secondly please 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 let the elderships of Decatur Hartzell, Flint, Priceville, Noah, and the elderships of any congregation other than that that have been tied to this effort. Let them know how much you appreciate their wisdom to give opportunities to serve, to be able to provide physical needs while we deliver the living water. I mean, this is this is incredible in less than 24 hours how much God has been active in His people. It's, it's a blessing. Absolutely. Thank you, Glenda, for the praying hands and uh, showing that. Uh, your sister chimed in and said, is Chuck really driving? Uh, but she's seriously praying for us, and uh, hopefully that the supplies will get there quickly. Love you, Cassie. <laughs> Siblings, they're great. Um, give y'all a little bit also on what we have in store. We're, uh, as has been mentioned, we are aiming for Hutto and Kyle, Texas right now. Um, we have contacts along the way. More and more people keep giving us contacts as we go along to see what is the best plan of action right now. If we can make it uh, to the Mount Pleasant area of Mount Pleasant, Texas, I have a friend there, great, wonderful gospel preacher. If you're ever in that area, go visit the North Jefferson Church of Christ. I love those people. Um, they mean a lot to me, and they mean especially because they put up with my friend Chris. Love you, buddy, if you watch this. Uh, but uh, Chris said there shouldn't be a problem that if we are able to roll in, if we can get there by 1 o'clock tonight, we're just going to roll into the parking lot and set up camp, um, and that will be our pit stop for the evening. Uh, but we're going to be smart, we're going to be safe, and do the best that we can uh, to glorify God in this process. I see a lot more praying hands going up. Uh, if y'all don't mind, with that spirit in mind, I'm going to lead us in a prayer, and we're going to close out this Facebook Live and asking God for his blessing and thanking him for the many blessings that we've given. You got anything else, Cody, you want to say? Forgive me if I don't close my eyes for this prayer. <laughs> yes, I really, really, really don't want you to close your eyes while we're praying, Cody. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, let's talk to God. Father, we thank you for the many blessings you've given us. Thank you for the opportunities to serve others. Thank you for the kind hearts of so many others that have made this uh, blessing a possibility. Please be with all the congregations that have been mentioned, Hartzell, Flint, Decatur, Priceville. Thank you for Noah. Thank you for Will Cauley and the congregations he's involved with. Thank you for everyone that uh, is willing to do good. Help us to not grow weary in it, but help us by blessing us with safety to and from. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We love you guys. Stay tuned to this same channel. And we'll be back before you know it with another update. Rejoice with us. We're doing a great thing to be able to, to serve these people because of how God's worked through his people. Just rejoice with us. It's, it's incredible. Amen. We'll holler at y'all later. Bye.